Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, I got an email from a guy who seen a video on the web and he wanted to know how to do a particular effect with particles in motion. Now I'm not going to show you how to make this whole scene, I'm just using this scene as a demonstration. What I am going to show you how to do is set up the particles to look like they're in 3D like he wants. Now first let me show you a demonstration of this. I have some particles up here and they're going to rain down and they're going to bounce on the floor here and it's going to look like they're behind the text in front of the text looks like they're going to be bouncing on the floor so let me play this for you and you can see the particles coming down and now they're going to hit the floor as you can see and they bounce and there's some back in here there's some up front here as you can see it's 3d okay and if I switch to my active or my perspective camera you can see this a lot better of what's going on okay so let's start fresh and show you how I made this 3D particle view, okay? So I guess what we could do is, let's go back to the beginning here. Let's show you one more time what we're going to do. You can see they bounce, looks pretty good. Okay, let's close this down and let's get a new one. So now we got this new project in motion. I'm going to close my old one. Okay, so it just won't be in the way. And we're going to start fresh. So, okay, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn on my 3D grid. Or add a camera. And I'm going to turn on my 3D grid, which it is on. Just turned it off. And there we go. Okay, let's go to our top view and I'm going to zoom out a little bit here you can see my camera I'm gonna grab my shapes and I'm just gonna lay a square down like this okay let's go to our shapes tab and let's change the color of this way down dark and let's even give it some feather maybe a little bit more than that there we go. Okay, now let's go back to our camera view. Okay, now as you can see what we got here. Let me zoom out. We have this flat plane here. Not a big deal. Very simple so far. Okay. So now we're going to make our particles for this thing. So let's go up here and change back. And let's go to our 3D transform tools and let's pull this back a little bit. Like so. Okay, now we have this. Let's open up our project. And we have our group with our rectangle in it. Now let's go to our library and let's add some particles. So we'll go to our particle emitters. Okay. And under our particle emitters, there's going to be a sparkles. Okay, under sparkles, there's going to be a magic dust. I'm going to apply that magic dust. Okay, and now we have our magic dust applied. Let's bring it up here so we can see it. And let's push play. Now we can see our magic dust. If we go to our perspective view, we can dolly around, zoom out, and we can see our little dust there. Let's go back to our camera view. Okay, let's select our magic dust. Let's go to our inspector tab and let's make it 3D. Okay, and then under my shape value, I'm going to change it to a line. Okay, now when that makes it a line, I can adjust my start and end points. Okay, when I do this, you can see it stretches out. I'm going to take my start point there. I'm going to stretch it way out. And my end point I'm going to stretch it out the other way. And that gives us a solid line across the top there. So let's go ahead and bring it up. And I'm going to hit play. And now you can see what we got here. Which is not really doing what we need it to do. So I need to make some adjustments. Okay. Um, let's twirl this down. Let's look at our sparks tab. And under our sparks tab you can see we got a birth rate, our life. So let's up our life to about 30. Like that. Let's replay it here. And it's 
kind of moving a little bit slow. So, what we need to do is I'm going to twirl down my spark, and that'll be a gravity parameter. Okay, under my behaviors, under the gravity, you'll see acceleration. I'm going to up that to 300. Now, when I play it back, you'll see that our sparks are falling quite well, actually. Okay. So now, in order to get these to interact to the floor, like bounce on the floor, we're going to have to add a behavior. Okay? So let's select our magic dust. So now I'm going to add a behavior, and I'm going to go to Add Behavior, Simulations, Edge Collision. Okay, now let's select our Edge Collision. Go to our Inspector, and I'm going to uncheck everything except the bottom face. And I'm going to bring the bounce strength down to about 75%. Now let's play this. Now what that's going to do is going to cause it to come in contact with the bottom floor. It's going to collide with our bottom floor. There we go. Now you can see the particles are bouncing. So let's go to our perspective view here and let us see what it looks like from there. Let's go back to the beginning. And let's zoom out here a little bit, dolly around. Now in our perspective view, we can place our particles. Now you can see particles are coming down, and they're going to interact. But you can see now that the particles are dropping much further down than the floor that we got. So we need to make these even. And as you can see, by pulling the top of the particles, that's not going to help. So what we need to do is, we need to select our rectangle, and we need to pull our rectangle down. Okay? So we'll select our rectangle, and let's pull that bad boy down to about right there. And that looks like they're pretty even, don't it to you? Now as you can see, we can select our magic dust and we can position it anywhere we want on our grid here. And of course, if you don't like, if you think it's spread out too far in a cone, you can just go to your magic dust parameter, okay, under your emitter, and you can adjust your emission range. So if I wanted to drop it down to 180, I could do that. Now remember, you can also cast reflections, okay. Let's go back to the beginning here. And I'm also going to drop this emission longitude down. And I'm going to drop this one down even more. And then when I play it, you can see now our cone is not nearly as wide. And we have some interaction there. So let's go back to our camera view. And we can now zoom out, zoom in. It's up to you. Okay. So when we push play, we should get a pretty good interaction here from our particles that looks like they're bouncing off that floor. You can see there. Now what I would suggest is... Maybe having the floor cast reflections. Um, now I've got it as a 2D group, and you can see that we're not getting much interaction there. Okay, so we're going to make that keep that a 3D group. So basically, I'm going to turn on my reflection tab here. Okay, and now we're going to get a reflection when our sparkle see this reflection coming down there and under our reflection of course we can add a fall off okay make our blend mode screen and now the reflection isn't quite as strong as you can see coming in there if you want to make it a little blurry that's up to you I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it making it too blurry as you can see I put a blur on it of about three there and it makes a big, big difference. 
So now from here, there's a lot you can do. You can go to your rectangle tab, and if you want to, you can make this completely black. Okay? Like that. And you can also... Now let's play that with it being black there. You can see now. We have some interaction. We have some bouncing going on. So if you wanted to even go even further, you could add a lot to your project. Okay? Now here's our lot and our intensity of our lot. And you can adjust your lot. And all this will just take practice and just you'll have to get it to where you want. So let's go back to our perspective. Let's get our lot here. Let's go back to our camera view. Now we're getting just a slightly, a slight glow there. Now as you can see, all this is relative. You make it exactly how you want to make it. Make it. We can change the color of the rectangle if, if you want. Let's make it a little brighter like that, a little less dark. Okay. Now let's go back to our light and suggest our fall off. Now we're getting a good, just a nice little glow there. And of course, if you wanted to add some text and stuff, you could do that, not a problem. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Now we're getting a good, good interaction there. I'm not real big on the reflection. I would like to see it a little less strong. A little less blurry. Maybe put the reflectivity from maybe 80% down to... I guess we could go maybe... I don't know, 70%? Or I could just leave it like that. Okay, now, as i done before, you could go in and add you some text. Extrude that text. And you'd have yourself a nice little sparkle scene. But basically what I wanted to show you is how to get the particles to interact and bounce on the floor like it's a 3D scene, okay? Again, when I go to perspective, you can see what's going on here. You can see how the sparks are bouncing off of the floor that we give it. And I think it looks pretty good, to be honest with you. Um... You might feel a little bit better about having the um, cone angle of your magic dust not quite as wide. You go to your emitter again, and you can adjust your emission longitude and your emission latitude. Let's go back here a little bit. And let's adjust these down a little bit more, even. Just, just to see what they look like. Make this in 50. I like to experiment with my scenes a whole lot. Now you can see they're coming out kind of in a little arc, but they're a lot tighter together in how they're acting there. Yeah, now we're getting some good bounces. Let me turn off my reflections so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Now when I play it without the reflections, you can see it's bouncing really well on our floor there. And again, if you want it spread out more, you can have it spread out more. If you want it tighter, you can have it tighter. There's just so much you can do. And remember, when you're playing with your reflections, don't go overboard with your reflections. Make your reflectivity really low. That way you're just getting a little bit of reflection because too much of a reflection in a scene like this can kind of be distracting, I think. Which is getting better. There, let's... 
That's a little bit lighter, still even. We'll try 10%. There, that looks a lot better. Now the reflections are not too predominant. So now, like I said, you could go in, add you some text, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. I think that's for you all to set an experiment with. I think you all can, let's go back to our perspective view. That way I can see where my text is exactly. And it's about right there. So I'll bring it back so we can see it. Now let's go back to camera. There's our text right there. Let's make it bigger. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, now let's see what we got here. We might have to flatten, you might have to flatten your text to get a good reflection off of it. If you're having problems, don't forget about flattening your text. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot to add our extrude filter to the text. There we go. Now, we got us a pretty good little scene here. And I think it demonstrates what you can do with the new reflections and, and stuff like that. I'm gonna let this go through once and cache. Now, I would recommend going in and creating a fall off on this text. That way, the whole text ain't reflecting, just maybe half of it and half of it's blurred out, you know, kind of like a gradient. So let me let this cache through here and uh, we'll play it back real quick and that'll be the end of our project. And here's our project. I think it looks pretty good. I think for a quick 20 minute video or however long this takes, I think if you all take your time and do, um, I think you can come up with some real interesting and great looking stuff. So I really hope you guys have learned something. Um, I think you all can do some, some pretty good stuff with this. In our next project, um, I plan on showing you some stuff about the ink. Okay. Let me pull this over here. I'm playing it. You can see now we have our, our pen. I have it animated and writing on some paper, some ink and stuff. So we'll go over that next time. Hope you guys have learned something. We'll see you then.